And I want to bring in the Republican senator from the state of Wisconsin, Ron Johnson, member of the Homeland Security Committee. Senator, thanks for being back here on the Hill on News Nation once again. Appreciate the time as always. Um, when you look at the at the Republican Party right now, Senator, you have a border bill that was negotiated by James Langford over four or five months go down. Kevin McCarthy last year was booted out in the House. Republicans couldn't govern in the House for a couple weeks. Mike Johnson uh, couldn't get Alejandro Mayorkas impeached just yesterday. What does it say about the ability right now of Republicans in this town to govern or the lack thereof? Well, first of all, let's talk about some basics about border security. The Supreme Court has ruled that existing law exudes deference to the president when it comes to securing the border. President Trump used that executive authority against a great deal of resistance from liberal groups that challenged every one of his actions, and he secured the border using current legal authority. President Biden used that same presidential deference, and he opened up the border. So the fact of the matter is, the laws exist for President Biden to secure the border. What we were talking about in terms of tying Ukraine funding to forcing this president to use that executive authority. I wasn't looking for some massive bill that basically codified his open borders, that normalized thousands of illegal immigrants a day, that would hamper a future president who wanted to secure the border in the future. But isn't it your responsibility and the members bill of Congress that would, to that do would something for, about that would it? Force, that would, that, yes. No, no. It's actually the president's responsibility. We were trying to force this president to use the authority that the Supreme Court said exists to actually secure the border. The problem we had in the negotiations, and this is where I completely disagree with Mitch McConnell, secret negotiations with people that want an open border that caused this problem. That was never going to work. What we are trying to do is force President Biden to use the executive authority he has that he used to open up the border to close it. It's that simple. You, McConnell totally speak. screwed this up. Uh, I'm, okay. uh, again, it's, it's not, he has the authority, so, and that's what we need to point out. So should Mitch McConnell be the top Republican in the United States Senate, or should he step aside from that leadership role? Well, I was one of the leaders challenged him, challenging him at the start of this Congress. Uh, there will be another challenge the next time we vote for leadership. When? When the conference decides it's time to do it. Certainly we'll have another election prior to the next Congress. Do, do you think it's before. possible that we could see in the Senate what we saw in the House, uh, a, a revolt against the, the leader? Well, right now, I want as many of my colleagues to understand and analyze exactly how did we take an issue that the vast majority of the American public, you know, agrees with Republicans and walk ourselves into a box canyon where now Joe Biden's blaming us for the open border that he caused. Okay. I mean, that does, you know, you got to really scratch your head and go, what cut, what political genius uh, allowed that to happen. Well, that was the political genius called Mitch McConnell. Okay. Um, last question for you, Senator. The $60 billion to Ukraine, $17 billion to Israel is outstanding, and there's conversations right now here in Washington about whether or not those two could move forward in a deal together, should it? Well, again, the whole point of us entering negotiations, which we should have done in the public, not secretly, was to f use Ukraine funding that President ba Biden wants and force him to secure the border. We should still do that. Top priority should be to secure Americans' border because it is a clear and present danger. That's what our, uh, I think the American people expect, that we secure our border before we spend $60 billion that we don't have okay. helping Ukraine secure theirs. It's a pretty basic premise. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.